Hello everybody, Eminem Storm here, and today we're going to be starting up a new series, playing Transport Fever 2. Where we will be building a transport empire featuring passengers and freight and all those good sorts of things here. And we're going to be playing on a new map that I've created that, as you can tell, features the arid desert environment set and features also terrain that is generated from real world terrain data as I tend to do, though it's been merged from a few different sources. So it's, it is all kind of customized a little bit. The vast majority of the terrain, if you're interested, comes from the Grand Canyon in the United States. So this should present some fairly interesting technical challenges with the terrain. Now, for this series, I also want to kind of do a bit more of a kind of cohesive, planned um, transport network. As opposed to what I've done previously, which is pretty much just kind of an organic growth. It just kind of we grow as we go. And here I kind of want to have some level of plan, but at least initially though, we are going to need to do some kind of basic routes, just kind of take what we can get, um, to just get some revenue generating. And then as we progress, uh, try and kind of create a, a more planned, uh, system. We'll see how that goes. Now, as far as the cities on the map, um, they have been named after various kind of Western, old Western United States towns and cities, um, real world locations, including even like old West ghost towns and everything. So we'll be seeing those types of names. And also as usual, Lots of mods installed, tons and tons of mods. Basically anything that I found looked interesting on the workshop, I threw in here. And um, the kind of big one though, the big one that, um, well, big couple that we're gonna be working with are kind of industry based. One of them is uh, Expanded Industries, which uh, creates kind of new intermediate and initial industries that kind of create different production chains. So that should be interesting as well as a mod that causes industries to require workers. So we should need to transport workers to our industries. I, I kind of hope that mod works, but we'll see. We'll see. Also on the map, I purposely did not put very much industry on here. There's still a bunch, but um, there isn't like an absolute ton of industry here. Um, so my plan is, because I have sandbox mode turned on, which allows me to place towns and industries, that as we get further along in the game, that I will begin actually building new industries as required, placing them in places that make some sense, at least hopefully. That's kind of my thought anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and take a little bit of a wider look at the map. And as you can see here, we have the kind of canyon area with the river. And now that runs down along here into this bay that we have here. And as I said, this should present some, some interesting challenges, especially with the, all the elevation changes and the fact that there really isn't, except for like the tops, the, the, these kind of top areas here, the high altitude areas, there isn't a lot of flat on the map. So that should make stuff interesting. All right, so we have $5 million to start with. Don't worry about that earnings. It's just a result of all the, you know, the work I did on the map. But I did kind of go in here and kind of hand tweak a few things as I was making it. Um, 
but we shall see. I think the first thing we're going to need to do is at least just get some sort of passenger transport going. And um, just so we can start generating some revenue, getting some positive cash flow, and um, see what we can get up to. And my thought was going to be to kind of start in this bay area here as kind of our initial location. And kind of the plan will be, at least ultimately, is to kind of create a transport loop um, from Temecula here through Port Off, Arthur, Boca Chica, Lubbock, Laredo, um, Cortland, and Santa Clara. I'm going to create a bit of a loop there. And get that going. And then I think one thing we're going to also want to do is kind of create a canyon line. Primarily with trains, obviously. We're going to run along the canyon and pick up a lot of these towns. Through here. And see what we can get there. So that's going to be kind of a plan. But that is going to be a very, very expensive um transport line to try to build because lots of bridges lots of elevation changes it should be interesting it should be interesting all right but i think what we're going to do at least to start is we're going to get some just road passenger transport going first of all just to kind of drum up passenger demand to between these towns and just make some money. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up a route, a set of routes anyway, between Port Arthur, Boca Chica, and Lubbock here. And uh, get that all going. Now, also, we are starting at a little bit of a later date than is typical. I'm starting in the uh, 1940. This is going to kind of be the tail end and height of the steam age. And so we should be proceeding kind of out of the steam age. We're going to be starting with steam first and then heading into diesels and electrics. So I want to kind of spend some more time in the more advanced parts of the actual um, of the technology. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so where do I want to start with a passenger transport route here? Um, oh, that's destinations, land use. There we are. So where is the residential? Uh, it's kind of like right here. Could really use a connection through here on the road. So let me see what I can do. We're gonna lose a building there, but that's that's all right. And what if I made that just a smaller road? Ninety-one thousand as opposed to hundred and fourteen thousand. I think I can go with the larger road. Let's drop that in. Oh, let me make sure that we have that off. All right. Now, uh, we've got a few mods installed here. You know, I could just drop a bus stop. What about a bus tram station? Modular tram station. bunch of new stuff. Interesting.
Yeah, that doesn't work there. Right. What about one of these? Rather expensive, no matter where I want to put it. Alright, well, I think what we'll just go ahead and do, at least for the initial route, because it really doesn't matter. We're going to just go for... like, actual roadside bus stops. And... There we go. And then in Boca Chica, what are we going to have here? We have lots of... Lots of stuff here. That's all commercial up to, up to this area, so... like this all right now where is the residential here This is pretty much right here. All right. There we go. All right. New line. We'll start it there. And then stop back there on your way back. All right. That'll, that'll work. Now, for these, I usually call them ICB for inner city bus. Um, Lubbock, Boca Chica, and Port Arthur. Uh, Lub. Uh, BC. PA. That'll work, I guess. Now we're gonna need a depot, obviously. I'm gonna put two depots, one there, and uh, I guess one right over here. Work? Okay. Now, what do we have here? I do have the, um, basically the, the option where nothing times out. something that's as fast as we can get. 31 miles an hour. Ten. Uh, get me three from this side. And 
And then get me three over here as well. Fired up with our first, our first line here. Now, do I actually want to color code these at all? I guess we go with reds for bus lines. Now there is one other thing I want to try and do is this is part of the new expanded industries. This is a mail sorting center. It takes in unsorted mail and generates mail. And if I look at things here, we have things that generate unsorted mail. And produce mail. Now, the question is, can I pick up not allow loading of cargo does it classify as cargo would necessitate me putting one of these in here. Let's try it. Let's let's try. It. Let's drop that in there. Cargo stop cannot be used by passenger vehicles. Why would we have... Why would you be going there? Because you're not... Because you've named this both Woodland Street. Alright, we're gonna call this what? Lubbock Mail? Uh, how do you spell? L U B B B B B O C K. We'll just call it Lubbock Freight Terminal. All right, so now I can say that you no, know, you okay, so. Let me just actually wipe out. Reset this up. All right.
All right, drop that in there. Let's create a quick freight line. From there to there. I guess I'll use yellow for road freight. I'll call that. Now, for vehicles. Opal Blitz this is all cargo. Tank truck. I think I'll go with the Ford. Let's just go with a couple of the Fords. We've already got some... we got some traffic starting to form. That is also something I'm going to try and be more mindful of. Trying to figure out how to manage the traffic a little bit better. Well, we got some passengers. Well, what we'll just have to do is wait and see if any unsorted mail actually appears. Here. Now, we also have some here. That would be a rather expensive. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. We're going to call this, uh... Look at your freight terminal. And then what we'll do is, let's see, and you're going here. Add that in and then bring it back. Uh, 
Now, see, I don't... Alright, are we making any profits? New. No. Not yet, but we are carrying 26 passengers. All right, that's good. Now I could also do the same thing here between Santa Clara, Cortland, and Laredo. Just get some uh, get some buses going. You know, this probably, since I have that mod installed, probably needs some passengers. Now that I think about it. That is something I am definitely going to have to get used to. All right. Get a new line. From there to there, and we're going to call this uh, workers. Uh, Lubbock Mail. Buy a couple of passenger vehicles. Now, this should actually have two terminals on it, right? Yeah, so you should actually go to Terminal 2. Alright, three new vehicles available, and there's the quintuplex. And the reversed version. So we could double head it uh, to reverse <laughs> with those things. That would be hilarious. It is listed as a destination. Line usage 70. So 13 people are working there. All right. But the mail isn't transporting. I'm going to have to figure out how that's supposed to work. All right. 
But we are off and running, so that's good. Not making any money yet. Which is less fortunate. But it's a start. We gotta, gotta start getting more than more than half full, and then we will probably start making a profit. Hey, this guy is starting to take some workers. All right, excellent. I think this is our, our first episode. Things appear to be getting started. All right, well, we'll go ahead and stop here for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.